Hey guys, Zoid here, back again with, uh, damn it. Today we're having a look at the Marvel Superhero Mashers Deadpool. And the only reason we're having a look at this figure is because I don't have a Deadpool. I wanted a Deadpool. Saw this guy, bought it, and the story. Um, he is one of the deluxe figures, I believe that's what you call it. Deluxe figures, so he comes in this box, so it's got the Hulk, Iron Patriot, um, looks like all that is is Hulk and Iron Patriot and then on the side this is what gave it away because he was in the back somewhere um, on the shelf and you know what saw it and I'm like oh crap that's Deadpool <coughs> excuse me I almost didn't get it but then when I counted up my pennies I'm like you know what screw it so I bought it Paid a little more, it was at Toys R Us, so that's why, but I found it in the wild nonetheless, and I didn't have to pay shipping. So, <laughs> uh, I think 18 is a fair price, especially he comes with, well, especially since he comes with all sorts of stuff. I mean, this guy is loaded with accessories, and I mean, loaded as in, he got a lot. So, um... Starting off with the uh, little shurikens here, he comes with three of them. Uh, the other two are on his hips here, so we'll take those off. And uh, they are the same. They all work in the ports throughout his um his body. And uh, yeah, you can uh, do what you want with those. He can hold them. He's actually got added articulation too. We'll get into that in a moment though. Um, he's got this giant ass venom arm. I'll give you a look at that. I know it's hard to see black on black. So we'll do this. You can see it a little better. You can see all the little line details. It's a fairly well sculpted piece. I'm surprised they don't try this hard on uh, Marvel Legends, but... Yeah, I guess we're just stuck with a bunch of repaints, but these are repaints too. But you know what? You get a lot more. Um, Marvel Legends, you'll be lucky to get an extra set of hands. These, you get extra body parts. You get an extra arm, for crying out loud. Um, and then, of course, he's got his regular hand, so we'll attach that to his lower arm there. And here's Deadpool as I normally see him. Now, he does come with two katana blades. Uh, he's got the short one, which I prefer to put in this hand. And uh, that's really it. I don't like using the long one. Like, for the most part. But it is nice to have um, two swords. I just wish they were the same size. I mean, that looks good. I mean, he can hold it, and it looks good. Um, but on this side, you got just a little dorky hole, and uh, that just looks so stupid. I mean, they should have gave him two of these, or maybe they'll make a mashup where you can get two of these hands, and then he can hold his freaking sword right. That's why I hate using the longer one, because, you know, it looks even goofier over there. And I also don't like having the pig sticking out to the side like that. I mean, yeah, he holds the sword fine, but the pig sticks out. Here, let me show you. The pig sticks out like that. I don't know why. I just don't care for that. I also don't care for the different sizes, but the brown costume Wolverine will fix that. We'll get him eventually 
so uh, oh, fire alarms going off somewhere. Uh, well, down at the fire station. Um, so articulation on this guy, he does have a rotation in the head. It is ratcheted. Uh, the hinge on mine is really sort of messed up. I mean, it's got some scratching on it or something. I don't know what that's from, but you know, it's still attached. <laughs> that's the best part. Um, I mean, the head is nice and tight. I mean, it stays in place, so it doesn't really matter to me. Oh, and another thing I want to mention, he even has a little dip on the back here for his little mask, so that's cool. Uh, he's got the in and out the shoulders. These move really far up. Not as far as my Valetians, probably because of that port, but far enough. Uh, they rotate a full 360. Um, He's got a single hinge in the elbow, not giving you quite 90 degrees, but whatever. And he's got a rotation here, the lower arm. That works pretty well. He's got T-jointed hips moving that far forward, pretty good range. And that far back, so they move back a decent amount. Uh, they move up really far, so you can get some good Chuck Norris kicks in there. Uh, he's got a thigh swivel. Uh, single hinge knee, but you do get about 90 degrees in there, so that's not bad. Uh, he's got a swivel in the ankle, or the shin there. I guess boot, whatever, I don't care, he doesn't really wear boots. Um, he's got a hinged ankle with a pivot as well, so that's kind of nifty. Um, I wish a Ghost Rider had that. I know the prototype did, but... For whatever reason, they scrapped it. Probably ran low on cash because this guy came with a buttload of weapons. Um, so, speaking of Ghost Rider, there's Deadpool. And uh, here is the infamous Ghost Rider from way back in October. The week of Halloween, actually. Maybe the week before, I can't remember. As you can see, they scale uh, pretty well. Um, I can just see that there are going to be a whole lot more of these masher guys coming in. Uh, I can't believe I even got two. I, kn I was going to get Ghost Rider. Don't get me wrong. But, I mean, Deadpool, he's not my favorite. I do like him, though. I think he's a riot in, like, TV shows and video games. He's really funny and stuff, but he's not my favorite. He's not... I don't know, I don't see him as the ultimate Marvel character ever. I mean, those, I usually think of the Avengers or something. But a lot of people really like Deadpool, and that's why his crap sucks. And that's why his shit sells, basically, is because he's freaking Deadpool. Now, he does come with one other accessory. I forgot to show this off earlier. It's got a couple ports on it. And it's this giant rocket launcher, and you press the button, and missile comes out, so... Uh, works pretty well, and yeah, it's a decent accessory, but nothing to write home about. So Deadpool, overall, uh, it actually kind of looks like a Rescue Heroes from this angle. Um, no, that's not close to what this guy does. I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10. I have no problems with this figure. It's just that, I don't know, I wouldn't have wanted to uh, get it if it wasn't Deadpool. I mean, it was Deadpool, so I don't have a Deadpool to speak of. Uh, I have a little one, I've got a big one, I've got a 6-inch one, I've got this one now. So, it filled a gap in my collection that I needed filled. So, I got a Deadpool figure to call my own, and I'm pretty happy with it. So, that in and of itself was worth the, uh, what was it, 18 bucks that I paid for this. It was a Toys R Us, and I had no five dollar coupon. So what was that? What was I gonna, What was I gonna do? So uh, <laughs> if I can shut up and talk right, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Stay tuned. We're gonna do a little mashup video uh, after this, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later.